Hi, everybody. It's Paul Long. Hope you're having a really good day. Uh, I wanted to share with you a really good question that I had from an estate agent today about uh, getting people into their free Facebook group. So I know a lot of you um, are using groups. Perhaps you've got a, a local community group, a local community page, landlord or investor page or, or group which you own and run, and you're looking to get uh, more people in them. Now, it was asked, can we use Facebook adverts? And I would say actually that there are better ways to get more people into these groups. And though you can run adverts and get some success, but Facebook doesn't really like people running adverts to groups. So here's a few ways that you can actually get people into your group. Um, the first one I would say is promote it every way possible, any way and every way. Make sure that you're promoting that group um, on everything you do. So some ideas here. First of all, look at your emails. Um, and in particular, look at your email signature. Are you promoting that group on every email that's going out? Just a couple of lines, promoting the group, telling people what, what the benefits are of being part of it, and obviously putting a link there direct to the, the group so they can join. So super signature on your emails is the first one. Another one you should be looking at is all the, uh, the ways that uh, you're generating leads um, on the thank you page, are you mentioning the group or in the follow up process, are you mentioning the group? So a lot of you are running online valuation tools, uh, putting out guides out there for people to download. Um, are there thank you pages where you mention the group and give them that second step of what to do next and mentioning the, the benefits of joining that group? Are the emails that are going out to your online valuation um, tool, tool results, are they getting that email which also invites them to the group? So have a think about uh, those thank you pages and emails on your lead generation. Also look at your website. Are there thank you pages which you could uh, put that uh, mention about the group into? So don't forget, you've got pages where people register as applicants. You've got valuations being booked on your website. Uh, there's probably a few other places as well where you could on the thank you page also tell them what the next step is. Don't forget to join our local community group where you will, and then obviously your list of benefits, um, or if it's a landlord page, then you would mention the benefits for those landlords. So a few ideas there. I think the key thing is to make sure you look at all the processes you've got in your business. Is it being mentioned? Um, look at perhaps the automation that you've got already got set up. Is it in there? You know, when someone buys a property or becomes a, uh, a seller or perhaps um, they register in that automation, is there a mention by email, text or even a phone call? And then last of all, why are we doing all this? Why should we bother setting up these groups or local community pages? Well, a few reasons. First of all, um, it will position you as that expert, that local authority figure, that voice, and people will listen to you more. So um, by putting really good content into that group or onto that page, people are gonna listen. If it's a local community page or group, they're gonna see you've got a real interest in the local area. And the other thing that I would say is that don't forget, it's another touch point for you. It's been shown now that people need so many touch points to uh, make contact with you, reach out to you or use your services. So by them being in that group, they're going to see you a lot more often. So it's another touch point to see you, to get to know, like and trust you and really move closer to reaching out to you. So often we'll use groups and pages as a sort of a vehicle to speed up the process of people actually becoming a client. So hopefully there's a few ideas there, a lot that I ran through. Uh, I'd love to hear how you're using groups, how you're getting people into it, anything else you think that should be added to that list. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Thanks, Ed.